Hello everyone, I can back here bringing you another Minecraft tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how to basically design your house. If you have a house and you have plenty of time to do some stuff, um, this will be the tutorial for you because this will be a pretty simple tutorial on how to spice up your house and your surroundings with um, basically a garden. So we're making a garden, something like that, surrounding your house. But today I'm just going to show you um, how to design the front of your house or anything else. So whatever you learn in this video, what I showed you, you can basically use it on anything else like a, skysc um, a, gar a garden on the top of a skyscraper. Or maybe just a Chinese garden, Japanese garden, whatever gardens you like. And this will help you a lot um, in your next project or something. Just to spice your environment up, I guess. So, first of all, we need to get some type of block for the pavement, right? So, I think we're just gonna use something that looks good on top of them. So, let's just see how this looks like at the top. Hmm, not bad. It, de it also depends on your texture pack. Not all texture packs, um, basically, what's it called? Not all texture packs, not, I mean, not texture packs, I mean chiseled sandstone looks good on the top on every texture pack. So in here, I'm using great wood texture pack. So let's try this out. So we're just gonna pave the way for the pavement. Listen to, um, uh, it's your choice if it's gonna be long short whatever it depends on your house okay so I'm just gonna put the pavement here the chiseled stone so just give me a second guys I'm almost done okay there you go there's a pavement for your house so, uh, looks still kind of doesn't really look that good right so now, if you ever put a trees on your house, like what I did right here, um, in here, these trees were made on a previous video, if you can recall, from the thumbnail, and also from the video itself. So if you guys want to know how to make these trees, just head on to my channel and you can see a brand new tutorial about them. So if you ever put trees on your houses, you can also um, spice them up by making roots of them, as you can see here, like random roots. Instead of just a plain um, pole, I guess. So you can put these type of roots that, that make a tree look more detailed and cool. And also you can do is, we can add like a stone block. A stone block to the floor to signify that uh what are you called again signify that the the tree grown um grew on top of stone i guess or rock so it gives more detail to the surroundings it's it looks pretty simple it's easy to do you can just put it randomly but don't do it too much just small details can impact how you look on things so now if you have a house right that's so here's a house I made in like just like five minutes there's nothing inside but on the next video I'm just gonna show you how to design the interior of a house my style of course so this is a pro progressive tutorial from trees now on making making your surroundings look more beautiful right so now let's just put like leaves any type of leaves you want depends on the style you you, you like of course so let's just try this one hmm so we can just put leaves um, on in the front of your house to signify those are bushes like cut it bushes type, type of thing so it impacts your house actually how it looks like it looks much better now right so now what we're gonna do is most trees in the real world have grass 
or even bush bushes like surrounding them right on their roots so we're just gonna put a little bit of bushes on them to signify that the, um, there's a outgrowth of like leaves and nature around them so yeah that looks okay right we can also put it on top of another level to signify that it's been out outgrown for like how many months because it takes a while for a bush to grow on top of a tree like not basically on top of a tree but <laughs> what I'm saying is that is it called again mm, 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 mm. oh yeah it takes a while for a bush to to be that tall right so it just shows that a bush has been here for a long time now we can also do is we can add vines to your trees it will make it look much better don't put a lot don't put too much because that will make make it look like a jungle tree and also don't put it too far on the top because it's just gonna grow down if you don't like a lot of vines grow, growing down so we can just put it um, mostly in the middle and that's pretty much it right and also we, we should put some on the leaves don't put too much it's gonna look like a jungle mess so we're just gonna put some randomly on some spots of the tree there you have it so you're just gonna wait for them to grow and yeah so what's next is what is it okay so if it's night so I'm just gonna put night times like night okay if it's night you just some people just don't like how torches look like right so what we can do is we can make a post for some um it's called lamp post type of thing that are really simple to do you just need glowstone and i don't know what what do you want to choose stone or wood planks or wood to make them so I'm, I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna put two blocks of stone, two high. Stack two of them, right? And then just put glowstone on top of them. See, looks much better, right? Looks much better. You can also do it in here if you want to illuminate your what is it called? Your garden, I guess. So it doesn't really look um, like a garden right now because. We're not even done yet, so we're just gonna put the clothes on here and here. So it depends on your texture pack how things look like. So if you don't look, if you don't look the light, um, if you don't, if you do not like the looks of the glowstone, you can do is use the trap doors to block them, but it still radiates light. So you can just put it here, here, here. And right so let me just put this and this because not every texture pack is perfect so gotta admit that and you guys know that that's why we all um like me i always change texture packs if i don't like something so i just use trap doors sometimes to cover them up see it's much better eh now, you gotta do is, as you know right now, you can see there's leaves, right? For a garden, you should always have leaves on them. So when I built the tree, there are, all, there are already leaves in here. But if you're lacking leaves, because you just paved like the ground to make it, what's it called again? To make it flat, right? All you can do is you can go use some bone meal. Bone meal. I, I think you guys know know this and just right click on the ground see now it looks like a garden type ish but don't put too, too much because sometimes the bone meal puts too much leaves that looks like a jungle mess so I'm just gonna remove some leaves and flowers to make it a little bit more cleaner there you go so if you don't like the randomness of this you can do is use leaves themselves specifically but you need to be a creative mode for that and also the flowers so there you have it right 
Um, we're almost done. I think. I guess. I'm just winging it. I just want you guys. I, I just want to show you guys how I do things. And also, we can also put some bushes around around your house, I guess. So we're just gonna put some oh spiders, some bushes in here. Uh, um, on the sides of your of your house, you can do that too. It's much more better than just simplistic, eh? There you go. There you have it. And due to the new updates, we can also put fences, right? Not just simple fences, but this. I mean the walls. We can also use moss cobblestone walls, cobblestone wall. So if you guys like, you, you guys can use these to cover um to enclose your garden. So let's just do this in the front. I don't want to cover the whole thing. Cause it'll take a long, long ass time for it. So let's just cover this. There you have it. And if you guys like, you can just put these uh, as like one more height to, s to signify that it's a boundary. It's the end of the wall, right? Do that to here. Oh, zombie. Um. Go, right. Also, you can also put um. What is it called again? I always forget because I haven't been playing Minecraft for a long time. You can also use the the gates. I guess that's what it's called. The gates to cover this up from zombies, creepers, whatever from coming to your house. So that is the tutorial pretty much. It's pretty self ex not basically self explanatory, but it's pretty easy if you know the technique. And then I show you techniques on where to place things, I guess. Using bone meals to cover out the ground with grass as a garden. Use use stone as rocks on on the ground. Because usually there's rocks on the ground, right? Not just pure grass blocks also you can also put vines on your trees and to put trees on your houses but um, if you guys want this type of tree you can always go to my channel and check the tutorial out you can also put stone walls for protection lamps lamp post for your garden to illuminate stuff when it's night not just using torches randomly there's a zombie there trying to go inside funny um, let me kill it first, god damn it. Let's make it too much sound. Make a recap here, god damn it. Yeah, there you go. Okay. You can also make pavements for your. for where you want to walk on, I guess. And also, you can use wood blocks to signify roots of your trees. And also, you can put bushes around your house but not too much because it will look like a bushy mess type thing so it's just basically comes to style on how you do things um i don't expect you guys to do it just like this but by just exper experimenting like what i did this is what the result is because i don't i don't basically follow any steps to this while making this video right now I just made it by myself right now and those are the ideas that popped out of my head. So that is all for today guys, stay tuned for later and I'll be making more tutorials on Minecraft, just simple little cosmetic tutorials. This is all for today, see you guys later and, all, and as always, have fun, bye guys.